Hey everybody, Siegel here. Uh, today we're going to be doing, uh, we're gonna be, or I guess we're going to be starting a new playthrough. Uh, as you can see on the screen, it says Omori. Uh, this is a game made by Omocat, a really popular artist. Um, the game's been in development for, I want to say roughly six years or so. Um, I just kept getting pushed back and pushed back. Or I don't even think a release date was out. I don't, I don't, I don't, I know there was... There was like a year for, um, timetable for it to be put out, but then it just it just kept not coming out. And then they were like, nah, it's coming out on fucking, I don't know if it was Christmas. It was someday. I guess like a, for, I mean, I, the, the trailer haven't, hasn't really shown um, the extent of what I think the game is. But like, if you go to the website and click around on some things, it's kind of, kind of like a psychological horror. or just like a general like RPG horror Thing going on so that's what i think it is um i hope there's not too many jump scares in it it's probably going to be well we'll see how it goes but we're just gonna start don't worry everything is going to be okay No matter what happens, promise me that we'll always be there for each other. Promise me. Welcome to the white space, or welcome to white space. You've been living here for as long as you can remember. Music is already fantastic so far. I've seen this whole bunch in like screenshots and whatnot. Your sketchbook. Take a look inside. Sure. Okay, I think we can already fucking see where this game is is going. Uh lovely. A tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Meow? Mui. Or Muo. Sorry, I can't fucking read. Meow? Waiting for something to happen? You booted up your laptop. What would you like to do? Uh, open your journal. Today I spent time in white space. Everything was okay a billion times. I will log off because I'm not ready to stare at the screen yet. See from the laptop warmed your lap. It felt nice. Something fell nearby. A light bulb hangs from the ceiling, whatever it is. Or wherever it is. Look into the light bulb? Sure. It's pitch black inside. You can't see a thing. Can I explore this white space? I guess I could, but there's like nothing here, so. A white door casts a faint shadow. What would you like to do? Do nothing. You stared at the door. Well, it's just something fell nearby, so I... Yeah, I'm like, I guess so. Okay. Uh... Okay, that's not the way to go, I guess. Alright. Just gonna loop back, so let me try to go past this one. Yeah, I'm just gonna loop back. 
I guess I'll stare at the laptop screen. You stared at the screen. Oh, okay, nothing. If you can't already tell, I'm already relatively unsettled by this, because I know I know something's gonna pop off. I wanna talk to Muo again. So something fell, but I don't I don't see anything. Oh, okay. if you hold square, you can run. I'm just walking forever. Oh, okay. Knife. You got a shiny knife. That circle is how you uh, access your menu. So our character's name is Omori. Shiny knife, a new, a shiny new knife. You can see a reflection in the blade. Okay, it's already equipped, and I can't change it. Can't access our pockets. We can look at our skills. Sad poem. Inflict sad on a friend or foe. Guard. Axe first, reducing damage taken for one turn. Now that I have the knife, I'm guessing I can do something. I mean, maybe I should try fighting one of the enemies now that I have a weapon. No? Okay. Uh, let's try the door again. Wow, this is so pretty. What the fuck? Aubrey. Hi, Amori. We were hoping that you'd come by soon. Wanna play cards with us? We were just about to start another game. Oh. Oops. Never mind. Aw oh, man, what the heck, Aubrey? You messed up all the cards, and that's Kel. I was winning too. And then here's Hero. Hey there, Kel. There's no need to get angry. It's just a game after all. Don't give me that, Hero. You only say that because you were losing. Oh, okay, so I can... There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on the railroad tracks. Okay, that's... Well, that's a reference to... I can't fucking remember what the movie is. Um... Is this Stephen King movie? I'm pretty sure it's the movie where they find the dead body. I think. But also, it's also a reference to, uh, Pokemon. Because I'm pretty sure in Pokemon Red and Blue, when you, at, when you look at the TV in your house, that's what it says on the TV description. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it says. The tentacle is poking out of the ground. You got stuffed toy. Okay, I destroyed that watermelon. Uh, I can't check my pockets yet, so I can't look at that, but... A single bean on a plate. A photo of someone familiar. Would you like to make... <laughs> would you like to make toast? You made toast. A fluffy pillow shaped like the head of a girl. A neatly wrapped present. A blender. A baseball and baseball bat. A cat-shaped hole. Sorry, I just like love to examine things. Why is Kel always so mean to me? You know, the other day, that good-for-nothing stole my stuffed toy and hid it somewhere in this room. Why would he do something like that? He's so immature. I mean, what did I ever do to him? Oh, I know. Can you find my stuffed toy for me, Omori? Pretty please? 
I found it already, but... What's up, Amori? We've been waiting for you. Kel and Aubrey have been fighting a lot again. You would think they'd get tired of it after a while, but they both just... Eh, but they're both just so full of energy. Yo, Amori, look at what I found the other day. It's a pet rock. Isn't he awesome? A tiny pet rock stares at you from inside Kel's pocket. I'm gonna name him Hector. Is that... Could it be? Aubrey snatched a stuffed toy from you. That was a cute sound. Hey, Kel. Look, it's my stuffed toy. What the heck? Where did you get that? Amori found it. Lucky, ah, lucky for me, I've got some real friends. Serves you right, Kel. You should know better than to pick on others. But Aubrey started it. She was the one who... Ah, she was the one who was making fun of me for the mole on my... On your... What? Aubrey. Fine. Man. Aubrey's all, eh, Aubrey, I, I apologize. I'm going to be bumbling my words this whole time. Aubrey always gets what she wants. Hey, Maury, I'm glad that's all settled. Those two always seem to be bumping heads. Maury and Basil invited us for a picnic at the playground. Do you want? Did you want to go see them? Yes. All right, everyone. Let's go see Mari and Basil. Hey, we got a little party formed, and they're all in the group. Amori, Aubrey, Kel, and Hero. We're all at level one. Great. Let's go. I would love to get a save point. <laughs> Going out, Amori. <laughs> Here's your alarms for today. You got fifty clams. That's neat. That. I probably could have missed that, just thinking it was like a fucking prop on the background. Well, not really a background, just on the stairs that I couldn't interact with. Can I interact with the clock? Alright. Oh yeah! Fresh air at last. Gotta love that nature. Well, let's go. We're missing somebody. <laughs> hey, wait a sec. Help me up, guys. I'm stuck. Only if you say please. Kel, stop messing around and get me out of here. Okay, okay, fine. Hmm. Took you long enough. Well, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me say that right. Well, sorry, princess. Uh, so we're in a forest now. Um, I also, I mean, I, I, I get, like, what they're doing with this, but I love how Amori is the only one in black and white and everyone else is in color. He's different. Wow. This is just a very neat game. I, I like this already. I like this so much already. Mari! Basil! Oh, hey, Aubrey. Uh, oh, hello, Aubrey. Hello, everyone. How are you all doing today? Cal's being mean to me again. Oh, no. Not again. How could he? Psh, I'm not being mean. Aubrey's just being all whiny. Well, Cal, you just made a very convincing point. Now I don't know who to believe. Believe me! No, believe me! <sighs> Settle down, you two. Why does it always have to be like this? Chin up, hero. Look at you, being all responsible. I really like that about you. <laughs> Come on, Mari. Not now. Oh, hero, you know I'm just teasing. You're so cute when you get all flustered. While we were waiting for you guys, Basil and I were going through his photo album. Did you want to join? Or join us? Of course. After all, we're the ones in the pictures, aren't we? Basil, Basil, get a load of this.
Come on, Basil, take a picture of me. Sorry, Kel. I don't take pictures of people when they least expect it. You just take pictures of uh, photos of people act acting. You like to take photos of people acting naturally when they're not in front of a camera, right, Basil? Yeah. There's something special about everyone living their own lives. Those are the moments I want to capture. So, like, we just have to pretend you're not there? Haha. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can put it that way. Sure, I can do that. Did you want to show us your photo album now, Basil? Uh, okay. There's nothing amazing. Oh, Basil, stop doubting yourself. I'm sure they'll be great. You're right, Aubrey. Sorry. I'll try to believe in myself more. Here. This way we can all see. Aw, oh, this is really cute. Oh, this is really nice. And this has to have little descriptions. Mari is teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Omari and Kel are holding Mari's example. So pretty. This is really nice. This is really cute. Omori and Kel gave up and ran off, but Aubrey and I got the hang of it really fast. Hero's still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting it. You have to admire his persistence. Wait, so... That's so interesting that Omori's, like, just black and white. Does anyone... Do they notice that? Is that a thing that just no one talks about? And by people talking about it, I mean people in the universe. Do they, do they see him as black and white? Or... Is that what he perceives himself as? And we're, as because we're playing as him, we're seeing that too. Like, do they see that? I'm curious. Very curious. Everyone's eating watermelons. So juicy. Aubrey has some seeds on her face. Maybe someone should tell her. I don't know about y'all, but I really do not like watermelon. Like, not even like trying to be like, oh, you know, <laughs> black people liking watermelon. Like, not, not even. I just like I've eaten it, and it just like it doesn't taste good to me. Kel drinking a bottle of milk, his favorite. I shouldn't get too close or he might get my camera wet. Mari had Hiro take a picture of us. Everyone thinks the flower crown really suits me. Hiro leaning in for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. So they're brothers. Kel, Kel and Hiro are brothers. Or maybe, uh, maybe they're not brothers. Maybe it's just saying that they're like brothers. I don't know. I'm sure if they are related, we'll find out. We're having a picnic today. Mari wanted to take a picture of everybody. Or everyone. Say cheese! After eating, everyone fell asleep, except Hiro and Mari. I'm getting kind of sleepy myself. Kel said he took a picture of himself on, on, uh, on accident, but I don't believe him. All of our feet in a circle. Can you guess whose feet are whose? Well, I know who's are the black ones. That's really cute. I really like that. I like that a lot. These photos are all so charming, Basil. You really know how to capture the moment. Thanks. I didn't take all of them, though. Mara likes to steal my camera sometimes. Only sometimes. Hey, I have an idea. Did y'all want to come hang out at my house? I just finished planting some little sprouts and wanted to show everyone. Come on, they're really cute. Yeah, sure, that sounds fun. Let's go. It's south of the playground, right? Yep, that's the way. Hmm. I think I'll sit this one out. You all go on and enjoy yourselves. But if you're ever feeling weird, you can always stop by one of my picnics. I always have some refreshments ready. And you can even save using my picnic basket. Okay, so picnic baskets are the save points. Great. Aw, thanks, Mari. You're always doing so much for us. Bye, Mari. We'll see you again soon. Run along and have fun now. You know where to find me. Okay, so it's still Amori, Aubrey, Kellen, Hero. But now, uh, Basil's in our party. Ah, uh, yes, some nut uh, nutritious candy. Would you like to eat some? I'm guessing those that's just how you replenish your health, but I'm full, so I don't need it. But I will save. Mari's picnic basket. Would you like to save? Yes. 
All right, we're in the prologue. We've been playing about 20 minutes. I think that's a good place to call it for now. Um, not much has happened yet. We haven't gotten into a battle yet, but uh, we got to meet some of the characters, um, establishing locations, look through a really cute fucking photo book. Um, yeah, hopefully in the next part we'll get into a battle. Um, some more interesting stuff will happen. But if you enjoyed this and want to see more, just let me know. Thank y'all. Have a nice day.